Yeah, I'm not funny. You hear that? She's right. All right, hey everybody. I've got Megan with us. Girl with a thousand dreams. Hey, um, I said we were gonna do this video like we were walking through and I made a, she's gotta take a drink already. I had, I, I made a, a smoked Parmesan crusted salmon like a while ago before we started doing these. And then I said on the way, and she's like, well, you should use my recipe. And I said, well, you should just do the recipe. So while she's telling me how to do it, I'm gonna go make a cocktail, all right? So all right. here we are. So this is Parmesan herb crusted salmon. You can find the recipe on my blog, www.girlwith1000dreams.com. It's currently under construction, but the recipe is still up there. Um, so I'm starting with the baking sheet. Oil your sheet so that your fish doesn't stick. I have six fillets of fresh caught, wild caught Atlantic salmon. I always get wild caught, never from rice because the nutrients are not the same. Um, and I can't always find it, and today they had some, so that's what we're having tonight. So. Now that our salmon's, I'm gonna have to throw this in the trash over here. So the topping is gonna be a half a cup of butter or one stick melted, which is almost done. So we have a half a cup or one stick of butter melted. And I don't know where my cup measuring cup is, so we're gonna do, it's a cup, a cup of, panko breadcrumbs. So you're just gonna see me do this twice because I'm using a half a cup measuring. And we're gonna do two thirds cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. Ideally, you should probably let the butter cool down a little bit because your cheese is gonna melt, but it'll be fine. Can you give me a fork? Is that bothering you at all? Yeah, no. <laughs> garlic because I hate peeling and chopping garlic. So I know there's a lot of people, it's probably not as good for you. I just, I, I live with it because it just makes my life easier. So I'm using three teaspoons. So recipe calls for um, dill and parsley. I don't have parsley and I forgot to get some today, so I'm gonna substitute with basil because we have a bunch of basil. So I'm gonna use some basil. So we have some chopped basil and <laughs> some dill. I actually got my cocktail done a little early and just uh, hadn't put a cup yet. So anyway, next step is we're gonna move it right to the smoker. You'll see me out there. Let's thank Megan for doing such a great job there and uh, telling us how to put the crust on the sandwich. So I got my drink and uh, got the Rectech RT 700. Preheated at 375. Uh, 
375, we'll put the salmon in there. Probably for close to uh, 18 to 25 minutes, it depends. Uh, that's just the time. These are thin, so it's probably gonna go a little faster than that. I do have my uh, uh, temperature probes on there so I can go ahead and determine, but the temperature you're looking at is about 145 for the salmon. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... oh my gosh. <laughs> That just happened. She has had too much sangria. Uh, and we are, uh, yeah. Oh, there it's out. Emery found her. Emery thinks it's gonna rain. Say hi, Emmy. No, no, say hi to the people right there. Hi. All right, we're gonna keep cooking, okay? Okay. So anyway, that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and throw it on there. And I always cook the temp, I don't cook the time. We've got a variation of that. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Time and we'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys. Let's play, guys. Let's play, guys. Hey, everybody, it's dinner time here at the pro's house, so thanks for joining us. Everything's done, we're ready to eat. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Why is everyone laughing at us? <laughs> All right, bye.